what is the main function of the appendix in humans your options digestion of proteins storage of bile immune system function or nutrient absorption the right answer is immune system function while the exact function of the appendix is not fully understood but it is believed that that it plays a role in the immune system right question number 2 What is the main function of the small intestine in digestion? Your options: water absorption, nutrient absorption, protein digestion, or storage of waste. The correct answer is nutrient absorption. The small intestine is where the majority of nutrient absorption takes place that includes protein fats and carbohydrate. Question number 3 which organ produces bile for fat digestion? Your options stomach liver pancreas or gall bladder. the correct answer is liver the liver produces bile which is stored in the gall bladder and released into the small intestine to aid in fat digestion question number 4 what is the primary function of the digestive system your options respiration circulation digestion or excretion the correct answer is digestion the digestive system is primarily responsible for breaking down food into nutrients that can be absorbed by the body question number 5 where does the digestion of carbohydrates begin your options stomach small intestine mouth or large intestine the correct answer is mouth the salivary enzymes in the mouth salivary enzymes in the mouth such as amylase initiate the breakdown of carbohydrates so the digestion of carbohydrates begins in mouth question number 6 Which enzyme is responsible for the breakdown of proteins in the stomach? Your options: amylase, pepsin, lipase, or trypsin. The correct answer is pepsin. The pepsin is an enzyme in the stomach that breaks down proteins into smaller peptides question number 7 dear friends this video has covered the most repeated 100 questions on human digestion system that were asked in many times in several times in all kind of medical exams so watch it completely i'm sure that you will be more confident enough to face any kind of questions based on human digestion system and it is part 1 of this series and please share this video and subscribe to our channel let's continue where does the final absorption of nutrients occur in the digestive system your options stomach small intestine large intestine esophagus the correct answer is large intestine the final absorption 
of water and electrolytes occurs in the large intestine but the majority of nutrient absorption occurs in the small intestine question by 8 what is the function of the pancreas in digestion your options producing insulin producing bile producing digestive enzymes or storing nutrients the right answer is producing digestive enzymes the pancreas produces digestive enzymes that includes amylase lipase and proteases which aid in the digestion of carbohydrates fats and proteins question number 9 which of the following is a function of the colon large intestine the options nutrient absorption water absorption enzyme production or food storage the correct answer is water absorption the colon primarily absorbs water from the undigested material forming solid faces question number 10 What is the role of mucus in the stomach lining? Your options: nutrient absorption, protection from stomach acid, enzyme production, or waste storage. The correct answer is protection from stomach acid. The mucus in the stomach lining protects the stomach wall from the corrosive effects of stomach acid. Question number 11. What triggers the release of bile from the gall bladder into the small intestine? Your options: presence of fats, presence of proteins, presence of carbohydrates, presence of water. The correct answer is presence of fats. The bile is released from the gall bladder in response to the presence of fats in the small intestine, aiding in their digestion. Question number twelve: Where does the process of nutrient absorption primarily occur in the small intestine? Your options: duodenum, jejunum. ileum or appendix the right answer is jejunum the jejunum is the middle part of the small intestine where the majority of nutrient absorption including amino acids and sugars occurs question number 12 what is the function of the pyloric sphincter in the digestive system your options regulates the flow of bile controls the release of pancreatic enzymes or controls the movement of food from the stomach to the small intestine or prevents reflux of stomach acid into the esophagus The right answer is controls the movement of food from the stomach to the small intestine. The pyloric sphincter regulates the passage of partially digested food from the stomach to the small intestine. Question number 13. What is the primary role of the gall bladder in the digestive process? Your options: producing bile, storing bile, producing digestive enzymes or absorbing nutrients the right answer is storing bile the gall bladder stores bile produced by the liver and releases it into the small intestine when needed for fat digestion question number 15 
which hormone stimulates the release of digestive enzymes from the pancreas your options insulin glucagon somatostatin secretin the correct answer is secretin secretin stimulates the pancreas to release digestive enzymes in response to the presence of acidic chyme in the small intestine question number 16 What is the main function of the appendix in humans? The options are digestion of proteins, storage of bile, immune system function or nutrient absorption. The right answer is immune system function. while the exact function of the appendix is not fully understood as it was explained earlier but it is believed to play a role in the immune system question number 17 which of the following is a function of esophagus in the digestion your options absorbing nutrients producing digestive enzymes propelling food to the stomach or storing bile the correct answer propelling food to the stomach the esophagus transports food from the mouth to the stomach through peristaltic contractions question number 18 what is the role of hydrochloric acid in the stomach Your options digestion of fats activation of pepsinogen to pepsin absorption of nutrients neutralization of stomach contents the correct answer is activation of pepsinogen to pepsin the hydrochloric acid in the stomach activates pepsinogen converting it into pepsin which is crucial for protein digestion question number 19 which part of the digestive system is responsible for the storage and controlled release of feces your options small intestine liver gall bladder rectum The right answer is rectum. The rectum stores feces until they are ready to be eliminated from the body through the anus. Question number 20. What is the primary function of the large intestine in the digestive process? Your options: nutrient absorption, water absorption, protein digestion or bile production. the correct answer water absorption the large intestine primarily absorbs water from the remaining indigestible material forming solid feces question number 21 what is the role of the epiglottis during the process of digestion your options producing digestive enzymes preventing food from the entering the wind pipe absorbing nutrients or storing bile the right answer is preventing food from the entering the wind pipe the epiglottis is a flap that prevents food from the entering the wind pipe trachea during swallowing directing it to the esophagus question number 22 Which of the following enzymes is responsible for the breakdown of fats in the small intestine? So which of the following enzymes is responsible for the breaking down of fats in the small intestine? The options amylase, pepsin, lipase or trypsin. The right answer is lipase. 
Lipase is the enzyme responsible for breaking down fats into fatty acids and glycerol in the small intestine. Question number 23rd. What is the function of the mucus lining in the stomach? The options absorbing nutrients, protecting the stomach lining from gastric acid, or producing digestive enzymes or storing bile. The right answer is protecting the stomach lining from gastric acid. The mucus lining in the stomach protects the stomach wall from the corrosive effects of gastric acid. Question number 24. Which hormone stimulates hunger and increases food intake? The options insulin, ghrelin, leptin or somatostatin. The right answer is ghrelin. Ghrelin is known as the hunger hormone because it stimulates appetite and increases food intake. Question number 25th. What is the function of the cecum in the digestive system? The options nutrient absorption, water absorption, fermentation of indigestible carbohydrates or production of bile. The right answer is fermentation of indigestible carbohydrates. The cecum, a pouch-like structure, is involved in the fermentation of indigestible carbohydrates in some animals such as in the appendix of humans. Dear friends, if the video was helpful then please support us by liking, sharing and subscribing our channel and please comment your score out of 25. What's the score? Please comment that. And the second part of this series will be uploaded in next two days. So thank you so much for watching and best of luck for your exams. Take care.